Well, hey everybody, Backyard Scrapping here, and welcome to part three of our processor pin recovery and refine. Um, we actually got our material filtered off again, and in, in the last video you saw I ended with uh, that I was going to drop some sulfuric acid in here and filter it off again to get any lead out. So we do have some probably iron, a little of iron contaminant and a little copper contaminant in here, but actually we have a really good clear solution. So now that everything's been filtered, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of urea in this and we're going to go ahead and get this denoxed. Um, and start our process of getting ready to drop our gold and see what we ended up with. Now we obviously have some active nitric in here so we're just gonna keep adding some urea in here until we don't get a reaction. which is when we don't get any more bubbles. So I'm going to continue to do this. I'm not going to make you all sit here and watch me do this. This may take several minutes. And uh, we'll get back at you when we are ready to do our drop. Okay, everybody. I just put our last little batch or little dose of urea in. And I didn't see any reaction off the bottom. Actually, you get little bubbles when you stir things up but I'm going to let that clear up make sure like I said I didn't see too much of a reaction so I think we're ready I have already taken an uh, excess actually of sodium metabisulfite and dissolved it in about 100 mils of distilled water um, I think I put about 4 grams in here I'm not worried about dropping anything else out with the gold because we're actually going to re-refine this so once we drop it you know get it settled out filter it off we're just going to do it again anyway so to clean it up so normally with the met sodium metabisulfite you want to try and go uh, as close to the weight you think you're going to get as you can um, that just helps ensure that you don't drop anything else out of solution uh, and being that we do have a contaminated solution but we're going to do it again. So, all right, we I think are ready to go. I am actually going to go ahead and pour this in and give her a mix and let's see what we get. got a color change immediately. Let's let it set now and see if we get a drop out of this. It's actually taking a little longer than I would like because it is warm out here but I do see it getting darker so we are going to get a drop. hope. <laughs> we'll just hang in here and just see what happens. Normally, you know, I do the older processors when I have done this type of stuff. Um, you know, I don't normally do the green fibers because they're a lot of work for, you know, not a whole lot of return. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to throw a little more SMB in there and see what happens.
Well, we are finally getting a drop. It's not looking like it's going to be too terrific, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go for now um, and pause, and I'll get back to you when I've got a little bit of something to show you. I don't think we're going to get near a gram. So anyway, we'll get back at you in a bit. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you that we did finally get a drop. Um, I don't know if you can see that right there. We're starting to get a little layer on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to have to see. This is going to take a long time to settle out. I was hoping to be able to get a pretty good picture of it, you know, in a few hours. But we're just going to have to let it go. It's going to come out real fine because... Uh, you know, there was just too many contaminants in there. Um, the drop, the powder actually looks pretty clean, what's coming out right now from what I can see. But we will just let it go for a few hours and see how it looks, and we'll get back at you in a bit. I'm just hoping we get enough to cover the cost of our acid, because as long as it took for that to drop and as warm as it is today that usually indicates we're not going to have that good of a drop of gold or that much gold so anywho we'll get back at you in a bit okay guys it is the next day it's about three o'clock in the afternoon i finally was able to get out here i got a bunch of stuff on this shelf settling out but uh this was our gold drop so i don't know how well you can see it we did get a drop um, I don't know how much is there yet but I'm gonna go ahead and get this poured off um, and get it rinsed and cleaned up and we'll see what we got so let me spray that little bit of gold off the top and let it settle and then I'm gonna go ahead and pour this stuff off so we will get back at you in just a bit. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I have transferred our little bit of gold into a small beaker and what I'm doing is actually setting it on and off the burner. Uh, instead of re-refining it right now, I'm just going to clean it up with some hydrochloric acid. And uh, so I let it boil a little and I take it off and I let it boil a little and I take it off and we're just going to do it that way for now because there's really not enough there to re-refine it. Um, I'm not overly excited about this yield. It did not produce near like I was hoping it would. So I'm going to continue to do this it's actually cleaning it up really well so we'll just do this for a little while on and off and then I'll get it rinsed and we'll get it inside get it dried up and see what we got I think we're gonna be lucky if we got a half a gram there so we'll get back to y'all in a little bit okay guys I don't know if you can see that in there but that's our gold cleaned up um, I don't know, maybe we got a half a gram, but what I'm going to do is I've got a sealed small dish here, and for a change, I think I'm just going to go ahead and melt this. I normally don't do that, but we're going to give you guys a little treat today. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here, like so, in that dish. I will take the corner a paper towel and just stick it in to draw off some of that water where you got a little speck on there and then we'll just heat it up to get rid of the rest um, but yeah let's go ahead and melt that up and see what we get we're gonna get a little bead of gold out of it anyway and that'll be fun for a change so I'm going to get the torch hooked up and uh, we'll get right back at you. Okay guys, we are back. Go ahead and 
Lead this down to where it needs to be. And we're going to go ahead and fire this up and melt us a little bit of gold for a change. Might as well have a little fun, right? We didn't get a whole ton of gold, so we're going to have a little bit of fun, I think. And you got to be careful doing this because I have water in here. You know, a little bit of rinse water was left, so we have to evaporate that water. If we do it too fast, it'll bubble and it'll spew out, and we will lose gold, which we do not want to do. In fact, I think I need to put this light on so I can see a little better. drying up now. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of borax on there just for grins and giggles. Put a little bit more on in a bit. And that's borax blowing out, by the way. Don't worry that we haven't blown out any gold. Not yet, anyway. Starting to curl in on the edges. tiny bead of gold right there that just formed. I know you can't see it on the camera, but it was something that was up on the side. We'll actually, when we get it down into a bead, we'll spin it around a little bit and pick up all those little pieces that are forming off to one side. heat now. And then when we're done playing here, we'll take this little booger inside and weigh it up and see what we ended up with. Starting to pull together nicely now. It's pretty, from the looks of it, it's pretty high, pretty high grade gold. We got it pretty cleaned out boiling it in that uh, hydrochloric acid. Got a nice, I can see the color even through the flame. Oh, it's just amazing. All that powder turns into a little tiny bead. <laughs> well, it wasn't really all that much powder, though, so... And we need a little more 
And there she is. So maybe we got a half a gram. I don't know for sure, but it looks like we got a about a half a gram of pretty pure gold. So I'm going to take that inside and throw it in a pickle pot. And we'll get back at you guys in just a bit and weigh it up. Okay guys, we are back inside. I just took our little piece of pretty gold out of the pickle pot. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm guesstimating it's about a half a gram by the size of it. So we got half of what I really wanted to get. But hey, a lot of this new stuff, you're lucky you get anything out of it. So let's pop over here and turn on the scale and let's see what we got and we got 0.58 grams so we got just a hair over a half a gram so let's see gold has gone through the roof a little bit so it's at oh, I guess 1500 or a little more right now so that means we got about basically $24, $25 worth of gold. We used about $14 worth of acid, so we are $10 to the good. It would have been nice to be $60 to the good, but anyway, like I said, these newer, this newer stuff, the newer processors, I mean, it just takes a whole bunch. But anyway, those are done, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. There's our, can't even see it unless it's in my hand. I'll take a couple pictures of it, close-up pictures, and uh, put them at the end of the video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little series, um, and we'll get back at you with something else shortly. So everybody have a good one, and we'll see you all in the next video.